Hello friends, welcome to another educational video in the field of electricity. In this video, I am going to teach how to install rails and ducts. Also, in this video, the method of installing electrical panel equipment is taught. Please be with me. In the first step, we how to install the ducts in the electrical panel. For this, we use automatic screws and fasten the ducts to the body of the electrical panel. In this electrical panel, we fasten each duct with two screws. The height of these ducts is 6 cm and its width is 4 cm. Make sure that the distance between the ducts is accurate and regular. In this electrical panel, we use two rows to install the electrical panel equipment. We have set the distance of the ducts in such a way that it's equal to 13 cm in each row. If you like the video, please press the like and subscribe button. In the second step, we install the rails inside the electrical panel. The components of the electrical panel are fixed on the rails, so we must connect the rails to the body of the electrical panel. We place the rail in the middle of each route. Also, a rail should be installed to install the input and output terminals. Make sure that we fasten the rails with three or four screws. Installation of rails and ducts is finished. At this stage, we will install the switchboard equipment on the rails. In this switchboard, a three-phase RCCB switch is used, which supplies electricity to the entire switchboard and is used as the main switch. Also, eight single-phase miniature switches are installed on the rails. So this switchboard has 8 single phase outputs. The first two switches are for two air conditioners. 
The next two suites are used for two heaters. The next two suites are for two coolers. The next switch is for lighting the place and the next switch is for the single phase socket that is connected to the body of the electrical panel. Air conditioners work as timers and flashers, so two digital timers are also installed in the electrical panel. Four of the single phase outputs are contactors, so we install four contactors in the electrical panel. Now we install the input and output terminals. This is for three phase and null inputs. These are for two single phase A conditioners. These are for two lamps. These are for two heaters, each of which is connected to a sensor. And these are for two coolers. This part of the tutorial is over. The wiring details are in the next video which will be uploaded in the few days. If you like the video, please press the like and subscribe button. Goodbye.